This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports in Chaco. Uh, we're here obviously with Owen O'Neill. Uh, it's been a long eight months. I'm sure obviously you've obviously had an exhibition in between that time, but I'm sure obviously it's great to get back in there and get, and get another one under the belt. Yeah, mate, I'm buzzed off in the socks here. Uh, I'm loving it. Um, Marks are ha March happy as hell. The, the, mo the most important thing to me tonight was obviously getting the win, but a big thing on my shoulders was to impress Mark because he's, he's never actually watched me live box and he sent me <laughs> without even watching me so it was a big thing for me to, to prove to him that I'm, I'm worth saying and he seemed happy so what what do you think obviously was it about you obviously um did obviously mark got involved i guess anybody in north belfast knows who Owen O'Neill is nowadays um and obviously mark's very much when he doesn't have shoes on as well he's keeping up to date with things so i guess when he's seeing local fighters doing well and winning and obviously getting well supported why would he not want a piece of it I mean, that's it. They just fit in. The crowd out there was mental. Um, so ninety tickets. Um, they were all singing Clumble songs, and it was buzzing. Me, that was one of the best nights of my career. There, like definitely, and it was a hard fight. Um, but it was my first six rounder, and I felt like I could have done an eight rounder. Or, to be honest with you, I felt like I was getting better as the rounds went on. Um, as, as the first, as it, when I got the first round over with, it was fucking, it was hundred percent like, and uh, just kept getting better. So the. I guess obviously after that an activity of eight months as well, it's one of them where you need to get an adjust that was the first round. You've obviously been sparring and obviously in, and training that flat out as well, but it's getting in there and tasting it for the first round to adjust yourself again before you get on the win. But Justin Menz, he was a sort of a bit of a live wire, probably putting it mildly. He was the best, fit, best fighter I've fought like, without a doubt. He was a, even if I sparred him, it would be very tricky. Um, very tricky, very good in his feet for a 39 year old. Um, better than what I thought was on, on its feet, but then again, I did watch him and I did say in the interviews he's tricky. Um, he was everything I expected, but um, I, I, felt, I felt like it dealt with it well. Like, there was a couple of times, yes, I did get a wee bit frustrated, but I didn't, I didn't lose, my, lose my shit and start throwing fucking for the sake of it. Do you know what I mean? I, I caught him a couple of times turning southpaw and stuff, so I'm really happy with like, performance. And obviously, looking over to what next, obviously, would you like another six rounder? Obviously, did they adjust probably more to it? Or, I guess, obviously, depending on the outcome of tonight's main event, you know, it, what's, what's in your thoughts now? Mate, if Dom wins, maybe me and Dom next time for some to sort of title, but I don't want to fight him in the middle weight. Like, I want to keep moving down the weight. That's what Mark spoke to me about. Um, keep chipping away at the weight. That was the easiest way I could have done the date, and I think that's because of Simon Mark, and I know that I can't, I can't mess about no more. Um, so I'm really I'm, I'm back training on Monday like um, I'm, I'm I'm not fucking about here like uh, I, I, I want to prove to people that yes I'm a big ticket seller and all but I can win serious titans here like definitely. And I guess that's that's the the dream and the vision now you know it, you know you had a great time at boxing Ireland and everything else but but Mark obviously seems to be seems to get things done obviously we always call him the magic man Every, everything he touches turns to gold. Um, you know, I know we spoke before, obviously, about the potential of obviously fighting on TV and stuff like that as well. Um, but the, the the opportunities are endless now. Um, I'm guessing, obviously, you're hoping to get back in and get another fight as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm hoping to maybe fight August, September, probably September, by the looks of it. Um, and hopefully, maybe a wee Celtic title. That's what I'm hoping for. Like, but if not, if it's not, I don't care. An hour six rounder or an hour, I don't know. As long as I stay busy and I'm just leaving everything down the mark, I'm really having my full trust in him. Uh, he, he told me like that yeah, was going to be a tricky fight, and it was a tricky fight, and I came out of it better than what I thought it was going to do. Like when he was doing all that rolling and fucking, I don't know what he was doing. Um, most fighters would get frustrated, like, they did get a wee bit frustrated, but it, I dealt with it well. well. And uh, Dee was saying to me to go change Southpaw when he was doing that, and I was catching him here and there. Um, so I'm really happy, I couldn't be any happier with the performance, like, and I was entertaining for the fans. I know obviously everybody's going to be entertained and, and uh, eyes on the main event here tonight. This is obviously going to be probably uploaded afterwards, but um, who, who do you obviously reckon is going to be on top in the main event? To be honest, I, obviously I get along with Dom really well. Obviously, hopefully we end up fighting each other. But I think Graham's pressure, he's a bit like myself. And obviously I think that the pressure will, will be at Dom at the minute because that's why I think I would be in him now. Um, but then D Dom's very smart and he can pick people off. So if he, if he switched on and he could pick Graham off if he's just coming forward um, in straight lines and Dom could be picking him off. But um, I don't know, mate. I think, I think Dom, or Graham, Graham might edge it. But... If Dom wins, it'll be a happy man because maybe me and him hopefully next 
I guess it's one of them where you know fans won it at the end of the day. As long as obviously if it goes the distance, it's the late round war. Whoever wins it wins it. But you know, the, the, I guess the main thing is you want to see plenty of action. Obviously, the build-up's been probably not what we'd normally expect. Of sort of build-up, you probably have a lot of trash talk. They've been very polite to each other, but they'll leave it all there in the ring tonight. And whoever wins, depending on the outcome, you could be potentially facing the winner. Yeah, well, I, I'm not going to fight Graham like in the middle of it, like, so I just want to push on. And if Don gets beat, I think me and his fight could be over. But then again, I'll leave it up to Mark. As I said, I know I've always said this. I want to keep tipping away at the weight. Um, like I said, it was the easiest way to cut the date because I know I can't fuck about no more. And um, I'm back training on Monday. I'm not bound, going over 75 kilos. Um, I know that really means nothing to you, but the plan is not to bring over 75 and just keep tipping away at the weight. So. I don't, I don't really care who wins, but if Don wins, maybe me and him next time, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time. It was it's great to see you back in action. Um, I get, no kissing the bards tonight. Um, I guess obviously you're in a good buzz as well. Obviously, Cliftonville signing players flat out, and you're about to fight about to, uh, Europe, back in Europe again as well. I'm booked for Slovakia. Um, I'm booked for it here next, next Wednesday, 6th of July. Two weeks, is it? I don't know when it is. Week and a half or something, so I'm booked on to go. Can't wait for that now. That'll be brilliant. The Reds on tour. Yeah, no, no, listen, thanks very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your evening. Good morning, Reds and Big Sun. Good morning.